a hentai anime on Netflix? What did I walk myself into? Okay, so we're talking about the new anime Bastard Heavy Metal Dark Fantasy on Netflix as based off of a manga. This particular series is set in a dystopian future where the kingdom of Metaikana is at war. To protect themselves, a great priest named Geo sealed a reincarnated sorcerer within the body of a child named Lucian, who is an innocent and harmless little boy. This is all in preparation for the day they must unleash the legendary evil wizard in order to save themselves from annihilation. Although they cannot control the demon once it has been released. To unleash this beast, Lucian's guardian Yoko must kiss the boy on the lips, not anywhere else, and it is insisted that the kiss must come from a virgin. This kiss releases Dark Schneider, the evil sorcerer from his dormant slumber. He comes out as a ripped naked god with unmatched powers. He doesn't even want to help the people who summon him and only does so as a favor since Yoko looked after Lucian all those years he was locked inside of him. He then vows to take over the world killing anyone in his path. But things don't really go that way as this is all about an anti-hero becoming the hero. Now Dark Schneider has to fight in order to keep his kingdom and his love Yoko safe. Now there are 13 episodes in the series with a runtime of 25 minutes each. Let me say the dialogue in the show is ridiculous at times and first and foremost understand this anime has the clear intentions of a parody in which it is over the top and I think that's what makes this stand out. The character Dark Schneider is something else I tell you. He's a womanizer who would kill all the men in the world to have all the women to himself. By the way there are a few concepts from this anime that straight up remind me so much of Inuyasha. The moments I enjoy the most believe it or not are the moments when Dark Schneider is interacting with a female character and things are getting pretty risque if you catch my drift. I just find these bizarre situations to be amusing. I even ask myself while smiling what am I watching? Pretty funny stuff. There's some moments with some nice dazzling imagery of animation here and there, particularly for me the magic casting abilities at times looks really nice. There's also some uh, gory violence here. I wish there were more metal music and metal musical themes incorporated into the anime as I felt it was lacking and didn't live up to the anime's title. This anime does have somewhat of an episodic formula to it that's rinse and repeat. With that said, this isn't deep and it's not for everybody. Oh yeah, some may find the show to be offensive so just know what you're getting yourself into. I wouldn't go as far as saying this is a really good anime as I think many would I would rather say this is somewhat of a pretty good anime as I did find this to be enjoyable for the most part and I will be looking forward to the next season but I don't think this is for everyone then again if you don't mind the excessive explicit content then you would find the series to be quite entertaining so to re-clarify this is quite generic yes if you're looking for an action-packed highly sexualized adult anime that's kind of fun then look no further I'm just saying